Hey everyone, Nate with Grover's House here and today we're doing a comparison of two really popular tents in the hydroponic industry. First being the Hydro Hut, this model being their 3x3 which is actually 40 inches by 40 inches and the second tent being the new Gorilla Grow tent which we actually have a 5x5 model here. So, you know, in our retail store we've had the Hydro Hut hanging up for quite a while and we're really happy with it and it's known as one of the most rugged tents in the industry before Gorilla came out so we thought why not compare the two so we can see the differences and highlight them and see what really features Gorilla is bringing to the market that haven't already been here and how unique their tent really is so let's start off with going over some of those features right now first off Gorilla says their tent can hold up to 300 pounds from the ceiling now most tents say that they can only you know, usually hold between about 60 to 165 pounds. The Hydro Hub, for example, says they can hold about, you know, 120 pounds from the ceiling. Um, we actually tested this out. I myself am about 145, 150 pounds. And <clears throat> if I hang from the ceiling, the tent seems to actually hold up pretty well. Okay. Now let's try this in the Gorilla Tent. So both tents seem to hold me pretty well, and I think they'll be able to hold any normal grow gear, including reflectors, carbon filters that you can put in them. Although, I think when pushed to the limit, the Gorilla Grow tent is actually going to be able to hold more weight, because I noticed that it felt a little bit sturdier and their steel poles are thicker. So, one of the most prominent and noticeable features about the Gorilla Grow tent is the fact that you can actually increase the height of it. It comes with standard at 7 feet and we sell it with a free height extension which we have added here to make this tent about 8 feet tall. Now you can add one or even two more extensions on top of this to make your, tea, your, your tent 9 or even 10 feet tall. So it can be anywhere in a 1 foot increment between 7 and 10 feet whereas most other tents are really usually between six and seven feet such as this one here and now what does that you know that extra height add um, it's great for letting the heat rise because if you can let the heat rise that your light fixture is causing then it can be really great to the health of your plants because uh... let's face it we're always battling heat inside grow rooms especially in closed ones such as tents so, um, the Gorilla Grow Tent also has something unique, which is the IR blocker that's built into the roof. The IR blocker is the infrared blocker. That's what the IR stands for. And that actually dissipates any heat signatures that would be seen if viewing the tent from the sky level. So, let's go over some of the smaller features in detail, and let's bring the camera over here. Now, looking at the Hydro Hut lining, you can actually see that there are double linings. So, that means there's actually one lining that can be on the inside and then one lining that can be on the outside as well. Now these can cinch all the way from 8 inches down to essentially uh, nothing. You can close them completely if you're not using them. And if we're talking about ports, uh, the Hydro Hut actually comes with seven ports. Um, and even though we're looking at the 3x3, three three, the 5x5 five five in comparison to the Gorilla has the exact same amount. And then there are four ports for cords. Alternatively, with the Gorilla Grow Tent, there's actually um, fewer ports. There's six, but um, their port holes are actually 10 inches and can cinch down to zero. So it's a little bit better having access to, um, you know, larger ports. Although there are fewer of them, and we will note that there are two small uh, port holes for cord sets. And um, looking at the bottom of this one, there are also three small mesh windows which can help prevent bugs and other unexpected um, pests into your garden um, including actually um, mold which the Hydro Hut actually seems like it's not quite as fine as the Gorilla Grow Tent one so um, we think the ports um, you know they are larger than the Gorilla which is nice but there's actually more of them in the Hydro Hut but these uh, mesh window screens, I actually think they are a little bit nicer in the Gorilla Grow Tent. So let's move on to the next features. So now, just touching on the actual fabric that these tents are made of. 
The Hydro Head is a 600D, which refers to the thickness of the canvas. And it does feel pretty thick, and the reflective material does look pretty good. You can see that it's actually a diffuse reflective material. And the one over here in the Gorilla is actually 1600D, meaning it almost three times as thick, and you can actually feel it with your hands. And the reflective material they call the diamond reflective material is as well a diffuser. Um, but it's really tough to say which one has the better reflective film without actually putting some light against it and measuring it off with a light meter. Now let's touch on accessibility. So for the Gorilla Grow tent, the accessibility, um, you can actually use their windows here, which are pretty handy to come see your plants without actually opening your tent. And the front door is open as well as having the walls be able to be unzipped so that you can actually access your tent from 360 different degrees. And there's actually a window in the back that's pretty large as well, so you can access the back without unzipping the entire lining of the tent. Now here for the Hydro Hut, um, there are, there's a window in the front, uh, or actually not a window, but just your door in the front, without a window, I should say. And then there are two small windows on the side that you can open up. Now, these windows are definitely handy, but they are pretty small. It is pretty tough to um, tend to your plants with some of those windows being that small. Now let's touch on light proofness. So, one thing we'll note about the Hydro Hut is that you can see there's a flap inside here that actually blocks the light from then coming through the zipper, which is nice, but I will say sometimes this flap gets pushed back a little bit and you see a little bit of light creeping through the zipper. Uh, we don't like that too much, but it doesn't happen all the time. Um, and this Velcro is here to prevent that, but uh, it doesn't always work 100%. Now moving over to the Gorilla Grow tent, um, they've actually solved this in a pretty smart way. They actually have a flap on the inside, <coughs> as well as one on the outside, which then Velcros down. And we've noticed that uh, when turning light on inside here, no light escapes. So I would say um, this one is actually a little bit more light proof than most of the other tents out there unless they have a double flap then they'd be the equal. Okay so let's talk about zippers. Now the zipper on the Hydro Hut does work pretty well which we can show you here. Um, it is a plastic zipper it's not metal and going around corners sometimes you get a little bit caught but it does work pretty well. We haven't had any breakage on these Hydro Hut zippers. So here's the Gorilla Zipper. Now this one's plastic as well, but it does feel a little bit sturdier. And going around corners we notice it is a little bit, um, it glides a little bit easier. So um, as far as the zippers go, although they're similar, we're going to give the smoothness to the Gorilla on this one. Next we wanted to test how waterproof the floor liners are. So we poured some water inside of them. Here's the Hydro Hut and uh, we noticed that the Hydro Hut was actually completely waterproof. Um, the way that they actually put the sea, the, their seam in is so that uh, the water would essentially have to go over about the four inches of, that the liner stands tall to actually have it spill onto um, the floor of your tent. So uh, we were pretty happy with the Hydro Hut. And moving on to the Gorilla Grow Tents liner, um, it is actually made the exact same way and it was completely waterproof as well. So with both of these floor liners, if you have a problem with your system going wrong, um, you know, you can expect to hold quite a bit of water in your liner without it spilling out, you know, onto the floor of your tent and possibly into uh, the area that your tent uh, is actually sitting in. So now you've seen all the features between the Hydro Hut and the Gorilla Grow tent, and you can see um, what traditional tents in the market are like in comparison to these new lines of Gorilla Grow tents. Now, um, us at Grower's House, we've actually played around and we sell uh, at least five different companies of grow tents and uh, we uh, all unanimously here think that Gorilla Grow tent does have probably the best quality and the most features out of any other grow tent on the market. So if we were going to consider this a comparison, um, Grower's House has decided to give this one to the Gorilla Grow tent. That's it. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, comments below. This is Nate from Grower's House. Have a good one.